Today we're taking a look at a game I had since I was a kid. It's called The Robot Club. I've had this game on my mind for decades. It's kind of obscure, the ending isn't documented. So I'm going to do this game dungeon style. I'm going to record everything and I'm going to finally get this out of my system. Oh yeah. And it doesn't like to play nice sometimes. Okay, everybody cross your fingers. Schedule, you should report immediately to your assigned homeroom and pick up your schedules there. If you're not sure where your homeroom is, just refer to the second page of your revised schedule and that'll tell you. I remember if your schedule is. Listen up. I'm telling you, something funny is going on in OmniScience and I can't put my finger on it yet. How'd you get in here? Woody forgot to lock the door. How long have you been standing there? How much did you hear? You're going to turn us in, aren't you? Just look into my eyes, man. This is not the robot club. Advertise it right over oh, here. Oh, please, no one's trying to find out who we are. Hey, I know you. You're that new kid in the neighborhood. Your parents work at OmniScience, don't they? What does that prove? Everyone's parents work at OmniScience. What should we do? Only members can know who we are. Well. Seeing as you're here, I'm going to trust you with our secret. <gasps> We're the robot club. Whoa! Are you crazy? Maybe, but then name me a great scientist that isn't. Busted. We're the ones who build those robots that do good stuff around town. That help people. That solve problems. Pretty cool, huh? Listen, the club isn't open to just anyone. If you want to join, you'll have to prove that you can make the grade by making our kind of robots. We want to keep the club a secret so we can build the robots we want to build. Not some dweeby project for some science teacher. You'll have to learn our programming language. We invented it. And you'll have to learn how all the different components can be put together. We'll start with a few training missions to get you up to speed. Then we'll give you some real challenges. You can tackle those. You're in. Ruby? Well, OK. But I'm going to keep my eye on you. That is one hairy eyeball. Ruby's all right. She's just deeply suspicious of people in general, and you in particular. Here, take this. Don't lose it, and don't let anyone see it. We'll be contacting you soon with the training missions. Good luck. Hope you make it. Hmm. But on. Maybe you'll be the next member of the robot club. Hmm. So a secret club that builds robots. That's like everything kid me could ever ask for. There you are. We were hoping you wouldn't back out. Most of us were anyway. So harsh. There are six training missions. You can do them all, or if you think you're ready, just skip ahead to mission number seven and we'll give you the real deal, Carl. The training missions give you the basic steps to putting together a robot club robot. Back to you, Robin. Each mission comes with a brief you can use any time to help you out. Andrea? If you get stuck, look in the tips folder. Ooh. Are you ready? Get your robots rolling. Oh, hi. My name's Robin, by the way. Your first training mission is really simple. Just get your robot to go to the flag. Good luck. Bye. I know a lot of people don't like FMVs, but they never really bothered me. After you read your brief, you can go into your workshop where you actually build the robot. I'll show this a little bit, but mostly I'm just going to be showing the completed programs and the videos. In the later missions, there's also a tip button that shows up in the workshop. I would say those are less like tips and more like 
crucial information sometimes. After you're done programming your robot, you actually get to see it in the mission. You're not bad. Hang in there, and I'll see you later, if you make it. Bye! Okay, that was really easy. Green. My favorite color. La, 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 la. Except I don't like green kids. As in beginners, Ruby's the name. My training mission teaches you to use our color sensors. As in green, or say, yellow, so your robot can find the flags by itself. Go ahead, knock yourself out. I'm going to skip most of the building and programming for these early missions and just show the completed videos. Pretty good for a beginner, but it might have been beginner's luck. Remember, I've got my eye on you. Smoking! Yo, that was bad. I'm Carl, and here's your mission brief. Make your robot return home after it's touched the flag. I think you'll need two states for this program. One to get to the flag, and one to get back. I'll see you soon. You did an excellent job. I hope you make it into the club. We could use some new brands around here. There you are, my name is Andrea. In this mission, you have to build a robot that collects a bunch of balls and brings them back. You're doing great, but remember, the robot club is a secret. The last thing we want is some authority figure checking us out. Catch you in a few. Keep it up and maybe we'll trade some tunes. Whoa, there you are. Greetings, Robo-san. I am Master Woody. The search for robo-knowledge is really a search for self-knowledge. And the search for self-knowledge is really a search for inner knowledge. And the search for inner knowledge should be a lot of fun, man. Yo, here's the lesson between you and me. Some robot builders have gone over the dark side. So what you must do is program a robot to avoid enemies and other hazards. This time, when you send your robot to the flag, it's going to encounter some resistance. Just relax and think like a robot. Bot on! I don't mean to be rude, but I'm meditating. And hey, you're good. There have been reports from here and here and back already? Wow. Well then, here's your last training mission. Your robot must go to three flags of different colors and avoid an enemy robot. Try programming with the global state. I'll see you when you're done. Congratulations, you've mastered Robot Building 101. Now it's time for your first real challenge. We're ready when you are. Now let's tackle some real problems. 
Yeah, no more kid stuff. We want you to get some robot parts from Army Science. You have nothing to fear but total failure and the Omni Science security guards. She's kidding. Omni Science puts the used parts in a scrap bin. We retrieve them with special robots. And now you're going to build one. Yeah, right. <laughs> this mission actually gave me trouble as a kid. I think I ended up just boosting through all the acid puddles. Let's see if I can come up with something better this time around. what this baby does. Did you notice your robot knocked something over? What was that green stuff? It's probably the start of some environmental disaster. Maybe we should build a robot janitor to clean it up. Omni Science will take care of it. In any case, the toughest challenges for you are still ahead. Yeah. Definitely no foreshadowing there. Good afternoon. I'm Harriet Larson, Director of Communications for OmniScience. This is our Vice President of Development, George LaRue, who has an exciting announcement to make. George? Thank you, Harriet. Members of the press, my fellow scientists, citizens of planet Earth, today the sun rose and it was green. Omniscience is proud to announce Project Green Light, the discovery of an energy-producing algae which will unleash a brave new world of limitless power, a substance that is nothing less than life itself. We're committing the full weight of the corporation to unlocking the power of this algae for military and industrial applications, as well as a myriad of other uses that I am not at liberty to discuss. A new form of algae? What if it escapes from the lab into the ecosystem? There'd be some serious global bumming. Guys, we can talk about this later. Andrea's right. Hey, you! So, you've proved you can handle basic robot construction. Now you have to prove that you can think like us. And that means not to think. Depending on your role model. You have to prove you can be trusted not to give away our secrets. So, each of us will come up with an individual challenge. You can do them in any order, but you must successfully complete all five. Then and only then will you be a full-fledged member of the Robot Club and eligible to borrow my CDs. Ready? Did that guy say military applications for algae? Hey, come here. Take a look at this stuff. There's a field full of recyclable cans and bottles at school. The principal says if we get it cleaned up by the end of the day, we can have a party there. Well, I want a party. Your challenge? Design and build a robot that'll pick up the stuff and sort it in the right piles. Go on. Okay, here's something cool. If you double click on the parts in the build screen, it'll actually give you a blown up closer view of them. And they all have these neat 3D renders. Basically, the rest of the game is just solving these puzzles. You trial and error it until you get the program to work. Sometimes when you program actions on the parts, they don't seem to line up or work correctly. I don't think in my whole playthrough I got the counter to work like I expected it to. I don't know if that's an emulation speed issue or not, but it is something to be aware of.
I was wrong about you. I feel like a taste bud at one with the slice. So, I made this deal. I get lunch orders from the kids in school, and Mario's Pizzeria delivers them to the main entrance. The problem is how to get the pizza inside to the right customers. That's your order. Build a pizza delivering robot. I'm not really proud of this one. I guess I'll take it. Excellent! We made enough to buy a new frozen drink machine so we could party down. And a 12 inch deep dish for the Slice Masters. Slice Masters. Come here, quick! I've been getting flowers and poems from a secret admirer. Listen. I'd like to take you riding on the back of my new Harley. But all I got's a mountain bike. And the seat is kinda gnarly. Yeah, I know, cornball, but I do want to find out who wrote it. There are two clues. There were some green paint chips found in the envelope. So whoever wrote it probably has one of those old green lockers at school. Also, some petals were missing from these flowers, and I'm betting they're in that very locker. Can you build a robot to find the locker and take a picture of it for me? Go! Locker 162, him, he doesn't even play guitar. Do me a favor, don't tell anyone about this, okay? Oh my god. Howdy, it's not that I'm violent. I just like to watch robots fight. Motor to motor, tread to tread, ripping out wires and gears and guts. <sighs> A spectacular display of robotic destruction. So, I want you to build me a robot that can play my favorite game. Survival. I lost. Back to the drawing board. Hi. Ready for my challenge? You know Einstein, right? The school mascot? What a goat. Well, the dweebs at Kepler Junior High keep stealing him. And I need you to build a robot that can stand guard and sound the alarm. Our school's honor is at stake. Honestly, I think chapter 2 and 3 are my favorite. Just high school hijinks and nice interesting missions, really. Oh, Yeah, this happens several times to me. Here's what should have happened. You pass with flying colors. Well, 
You passed every challenge. You kept my secrets. You smoked my butt. You delivered my slices. And thanks to you, we'll have one crush groove. Welcome to the club. Congratulations. Let's celebrate. OK, Robot Club, let's talk. There have been weird things happening all over town. Have you seen the lunchroom lately? There are roaches everywhere. And that robot mower I built for the golf course, it's out of control. Something strange is happening in my garden, too. My carrots are like seven feet high. Those are serious roots. Something tells me these are not coincidences. I think we should do a little investigating. Oh, I promised my mom I'd walk the dog. OK, the rest of us will split up. You coordinate. We'll use our notebooks to communicate. OK, everybody? Let's go. <laughs> There you are. Hey, what's up? The roach count in the lunchroom. The custodian wants to spray, but that'll close down school for three whole days. Three days? Without school? Spray those suckers. The robot club has a way to get rid of roaches without spray. But we need a robot to keep the traps filled with roach bait. Can, Can you, you build, build one? Did you see that Mondo roach covered in green slime? That had me heaving. So check this out. My carrots are so big, they're blocking the solar panels on my roof. My whole family's freaked. I'm going to check the air in the water and see if I can figure out what's happening. Can you build me a robot to take care of my garden in the meantime? OK. Bye. I remember getting stuck on this mission forever. This is probably the most complex mission in the entire game. I really kind of just botched this one together. But it does work. should have some answers soon. Listen, my mower's gone psycho. We found tails and beaks in the compost pile, stroller wheels. Oh, man. You have to build a robot that can short circuit it. Use the zapper in the parts bin. Hurry! <laughs>
not combat. You drew green blood. I wonder what that was. Robots don't have green blood. Hmm. No, Sparky, come here. Come here, no, Sparky. Sparky, no. No, bad dog. Bad dog. Need a dog? Robin just called. She said she has some evidence that links the roaches to Omni Science. Sparky, sit! If you can build a robot to walk Sparky, I can get to work. All you have to do is make sure Sparky doesn't bark. And you know, take care of any mess that might happen. a lot. Sit, Sparky, sit. That was really clever. Easy, Sparky. Easy. Ah! I was right. These incidents are connected. The lunchroom, Ruby's garden, the golf course, and the canister where Andrea's dog dug up that gunk. And right in the center, Omni Science headquarters. I'll bet that green slime is Project Greenlight. Somehow, it's affecting plants, machines, and probably people. We've got to warn OmniScience. And I want you to build a robot that can deliver the evidence to the office of George LaRue, the guy in charge. Maybe if he knows it's from the robot club, he'll take it seriously. Remember that piece you got from the scrap tank? It can make a robot invisible. Hey! Hey! You did it, and without being caught or tracked. They've got the evidence. Now we can get ready for party time. At OmniScience, the environment is always our first priority. There is simply nothing more important to us than the green earth. Yet an anonymous group has alleged that Project Greenlight may be harming the environment. Clearly a fringe cell of radical counter-scientifics. Their so-called findings are nothing less than lies. The experimental substances have not escaped the lab environment and pose absolutely no environmental hazard whatsoever. And even if some of the material did escape, there is no danger. I don't believe it. We send them proof and they deny everything. They're just another environmental outlaw, but the long arm of robot justice will reach out and touch them hard. My parents work at OmniScience, so do yours. They wouldn't pollute the environment. Yeah, right. What are we gonna do? Hey, I got an idea. Let's party. <laughs> what have you got cooked up now? Remember that field I cleaned up? You mean we. Yes, oh selfless one. We're ready to rave, but the party council can't get everything ready in time. So naturally, I thought this was a job for... The Robot Club! Awesome! I hereby appoint you, Minister of Automated Thirst Quenching. We need a robo-shake tender to run the stand so we can party down sans hassle.
Now this is a serious flavor. Lime banana mango. Whoa! If pi times the radius squared equals the circumference of a circle, and the diameter equals two times the radius, then pi times one half of the diameter would equal the circumference of a circle. Hi, I'm Carl, and this is the problem. How to achieve maximum groove in minimum time? Answer, an automated spinmeister who plays recorded musical information in optimum sequence. Translation, a robot DJ. You should start off slow, then turn up the juice and, uh, well, um, <laughs> you get the idea. Can you build it? That was one rockin' robot. I found this on the internet. Dear Robot Club, AKA Techno Chumps. So, you make the fastest bots in Brookdale, huh? We challenge you to a robo riz. Saturday, 10 a.m. at the school track. Signed, The Technoids. Isn't anyone humbled by greatness anymore? Dear Technoids, AKA Losers, you're on. Get building. Good work, but who are those technoids anyway? I wonder. Oh, hi! The technoids are back on the internet challenging us to play robot freeze tag. Robin thinks the technoids aren't a real group, but like some kind of trap. We should be careful, but let's waste them anyway. little garden bugs have mutated into monster predators. I found this one chowing on Andrea's dog. Get rid of them, save my plants, there's no time to waste. This mission caused another blue screen for me. 
So I thought now would be a good time to mention I actually still have the CD for this game. I guess that's supposed to be me. Okay, back to the mission. This one and all the plant ones seem to be like the most difficult, at least for me. Dead bugs. This must be happening all over town. Thanks. I owe you one. A riddle. What do you get when you cross a thousand rodents with the lab floor? Answer? Some seriously gnarly linoleum. Someone let the lab mice loose and left a note blaming the robot club. Can you build a bot to fix things and clean up this mess? Robots can't smell. Oh, what's going on around here? Hey, we, we need, need your help. help! The robot club's getting blamed for stuff all over town. Someone's been reprogramming our bot. The technoids. Maybe, but I think they're a front for Larson and, and LaRue! Rue. Those two faced two faces. Why would they do that? To find, find out who we are so they can shut us up. We have to get real proof about Project Greenlight from OmniScience. We need to get a sample of that algae so we can prove that it's the same stuff that's leaking all over town and that it's not safe. An interesting problem. Okay, I think I got it now. Project Greenlight is housed in Building C, and the only way in is over a network of moving catwalks. And to activate the catwalks, you have to hit all the right switches. Here's the problem. Each switch is guarded by a security bot. Can you help me out with this? in the room. There you are. You all right with munitions? Good. We need to disable the alarm system in Building C where the algae's kept, and that means neutralizing the OmniSign security computer. We don't have time to hack into their code, so we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Kaboom! Just don't set off the alarm.
Just be sure you don't blow up the evidence. <laughs> Hey, listen, we need more than algae. We need to catch Larson and LaRue in the act. So I need you to build a robot spy to sneak past security and record their conversations in LaRue's office. Got it? Well, the important thing is that I intercepted the report. Engineering confirms that the environmental disturbances could be traced directly to Project Green Light, if anyone knew where to look. Well, we've taken care of that, haven't we, my dear? Our cover-up is complete. Now no one can stand in the way of our plan. And to think that all of my... Uh... Uh, our exquisite work could have been ruined by those sniveling twerps in the robot club. Well, we'll fix their little mechanical wagons. Oh, yes, I have just them. And in love. Got it. Larson and LaRue on tape bearing the naked truth about Project Greenlight. Disgusting. We still need a sample of the algae, though just to be certain we nail those two. So, this is where those little gearheads hid. You think that I, George LaRue, the son of George LaRue, was nearly ruined by somebody else. That is all behind us. Those kids are in so much trouble, they'll be grounded until they collect social security. True. They're lucky they're not officially incarcerated. Oh, good thing you figured out how to reprogram their robots, you code master. Mm, it's a good thing you figured out how to sniff their trail to the secret clubhouse, you scheming sleuth. Thanks. But the technoids was your idea. You know something, Harriet? You're absolutely right. Well, I don't see anything. And I was sure they had evidence on us. Hey. You! You're in the robot club, aren't you? We're gonna find you. And when we do, we're gonna make you pay. You... Hey! Come here! You escaped. Very Weasley of you. The rest of us got busted. Larson and LaRue blamed the robot club for the trouble the algae caused, when all along they knew it was leaking and dangerous. You're the only one who can prove their lying. Build a robot that can get across those catwalks in Building C to the algae. We're counting on you. I'm really impressed this definitely not evil company has a giant indoor lava pit. Close. You're not done though. You still gotta get a bot into the labs. And I gotta get out of here before my parents find I'm gone. Good luck. This clip actually also played on the freeze tag mission. I guess you know we've all been grounded. I told my dad I was going to the library. Look, this is a rough schematic of the new OmniScience security bot. This bot's a pretty tough customer but it's all that stands between you and the green light algae. Good luck, you're gonna need it. I gotta go. This is the last mission I ever remember getting to. Every time I launched this as a kid, it would always blue screen, it would always crash. So let's see if I can finally get past this into new territory.
it. This is finally it. We're in. There's nothing between us and the lab. Now be careful. It only took 20 some years. Sit! Sit, Sparky! Stop it, you noisy mutt! Oh, hi. Am I glad to see you. I can only talk for a second, then I have to get back home. You're in the lab now, Sparky! Look out for mutating algae in the lab. There's no telling what it'll do to a robot. You're our last hope! Oh, Sparky, stop it! So this one was actually a fluke. I hadn't actually finished programming it to go to the door. It just kind of got there. Sparky, using the chemicals to fight off the algae was a great idea. Gotta run! <laughs> My parents think I'm watering my garden. You know, I never thought you'd be the one to save the robot club, but you've made it into the algae's inner lair. Now you have to figure out a way to get the slime into the portable tank. If you can do that, we'll have our sample. It's up to you. Stop in the name of George LaRue. Put the algae back now. This is a crime. You are a criminal. <laughs> Stop if you hear. This is your last chance before omniscience closes its grasp and crushes you. <laughs> You'll never get your robot out of the lab. Do you hear me? Never! Never. Never! Shh! My dad's asleep, so I thought I'd take you on a midnight voyage. Whoa! You've come to the last step of your journey. Now, all you have to do is trot your bot past that mutant algae and it's getting more powerful by the minute. How are you gonna do this? When the time comes, I hope you'll know. Cause I, I have no idea. Good luck, dude. This is it. Final mission. It sucked for so long being in the home stretch and never being able to finish it. And finally, here we are. on your robot. Did you see the paper? The president of OmniScience pulled the plug on the algae project. Put that mutant scum right back into deep freeze like a lump of spinach. He fired Larson and LaRue. They might even go to jail. I'm glad we made you a member. And you thought we had a spy. It was lucky you wandered in here that day. That wasn't luck. That was destiny. We're proud of you. Come, Come on, on, let's celebrate!
think that finale really needed some music or something. Well, that's it. Not really sure how to feel now that it's all over, but uh, I'm glad the mystery aspect is resolved, I suppose. Alright, peace.